Hi there, my name is Kyle Cockle and I am an application engineer with ANSYS. In today's video, we'll be looking at a newer and improved feature in SDK 12.5, which is the ability to support SVG files, short for Scalable Vector Graphic File. This is a standard vector-based graphics file uh, used for rendering two-dimensional images. Some of the pros of this format are that it scales easily, is smaller compared to other formats, and is also capable of dynamic animations, as you'll see here in a few short demos. Some different types of features that can be added to an SVG include text, lines, curves, shapes, plots, gauges, as well as custom images. The data that's driving these displays can come directly from existing SDK data providers, or it can come from external data that's been loaded in through TTK's data importer. As far as the creation of these displays, there are a number of tools out there that support SVG creation. I used a free tool called Inkscape to create the displays you'll see here. Let's now take a look at a couple of examples. In our first example here, we have an F-35 that's flying out over the water, and we have a couple SVG displays that are representing some of the flight data for our aircraft. Uh, you can see we have two different gauges here for our throttle, as well as the amount of Gs that the pilot is experiencing uh, throughout the flight. In the lower left corner, we have a plot that is showing the lateral and longitudinal positions uh, of the control stick, so we can actually see how the pilot is maneuvering the aircraft. Uh, and lastly, in the lower right, we have an altitude display. In our next example, we have a satellite that is uh, slowly rotating around and observing different areas on the ground. Uh, as this satellite is maneuvering, uh, we can see that its position relative to the sun is changing. Uh, and in the top left, we have an SVG display that is showing a color gradient of the uh, expected temperature on each face of our satellite. So we can see where the sun vector is relative to the satellite, and we can see that those particular uh, panels on that side of the satellite are being heated um, more so than the panels on the other side. In this example, we have an F-35 that is currently refueling from a KC-135. In the top right, you can see we have a fuel state gauge representing the uh, fuel level of our F-35. We can see that that is slowly increasing. Uh, as it is being refueled. Uh, we can also see our fuel flow there in the top right. And then in the lower right, we have a gauge that's representing the fuel state of our refueler aircraft as well as its altitude. Eventually, the wing aircraft uh, completes its refueling and goes on to rendezvous once again with its lead aircraft uh, before continuing on with the rest of its mission. Overall, SVG displays can add unique value to your SDK scenarios and allow for endless ways of representing your data. If you'd like to learn more about this particular feature, check out our SDK help page, which will help you get started with creating your very own SVGs. Also, be sure to check out our page on ansys.com for more details on all the features of this release. Thank you.